Please welcome to the stage a very nice guy and a great comedian. Please welcome Steve Wrigley. Hey, uh, how many Kiwi women have we got in here tonight? Make some noise. There was a pretty big cheer. Wait till you hear what I'm going to say about you. It's actually all positive, man. I, I just had one of the best experiences of my life with a, with a Kiwi lady, right? Uh, it was non-sexual, okay. <laughs> but it was great. It just proved to me how funny this country is. Like, we are so small, but my God, we try. Has anyone here ever caught a plane from Westport? <laughs> yeah, hey, calling that an airport is ambitious. It is a portaloo with a runway attached, okay? <laughs> This is how small the airport is there, man. This cracked me up. I went in there to catch my flight, right? I said, I'm Steve Wrigley, just catching my uh, flight to Auckland, thanks. The woman goes, she's the, it's just me and one woman. And she goes, all right, here's your boarding pass. Excuse me, I've got to go. <laughs> it's like, okay. She gets up from behind her counter, walks over to another counter and goes, everyone on board the plane, thanks. <laughs> Everybody on board the flight to Auckland. It's only me. <laughs> And this is where it gets really awkward. I don't have to walk over to her and give her back <laughs> the boarding pass that she's just given me. I'm like, surely a high five is enough to get on this plane. Do we need to be this formal? Surely I should just be able to come in and go, yes, Steve Wrigley, Auckland. <laughs> but it gets worse. I am now walking outside on the runway towards the plane, AKA pencil of motherfucking death, yo. <laughs> you know when you're walking, you're, you're walking towards the thing going, what is that thing held together with tape? <laughs> and I'm walking towards the plane when from behind me, I hear this clop, 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 clop. I turn around and the same woman is now sprinting in an all-out attempt to beat me to the aircraft. <laughs> and this is where it gets amazing. She beats me to the aircraft, she sits me down on the airplane, and then she fucking flew it! <laughs> and still managed to hand out snacks, you know? She's like, what do you want, made a coffee? But there you go! <laughs> the women of this country can make you laugh, the men in this country can tear you down. Because this year at the Comedy Festival, I'm doing a musical, right? Thanks. Yeah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> That's the New Zealand response to a musical, isn't it? Because singing and dancing are two things this country does not respond to well. How many times have you seen a Kiwi man dance? Never. You go, to, you go to a rural pub. When I was in Westport, I went into a bar, right? There were about six women dancing around their handbag in some kind of medieval fire circle. <laughs> And just a whole lot of dudes standing around the outside watching. You know? It was like some kind of creepy nature documentary. Like I could hear the voiceover going, Notice how the Kiwi male waits for a female to fall off the back of the pack. <laughs> yeah. But I love music, I love dancing, I've really embraced it this year at the festival. Please come out and see my show. It's called Kevin the Musical. Thanks everyone. Good night. <laughs>